Hi everybody, thank you for joining me here on YouTube. I'm Doug Miles. What you're going to be hearing now is an interview I did just about two years ago with the great Bill Dana, also known as Jose Jimenez, from his many appearances on television, The Ed Sullivan Show, Steve Allen Show, and one of the creators of Get Smart. Bill Dana joined me on the radio on WSRQ here in Sarasota to talk about his career and what he's been doing lately. Hope you enjoy it, and thank you for watching. Seriously, congratulations on your tremendous feat. <laughs> I said the congratulations with the only size A. Never mind. <laughs> no, I was uh, specifically referring, uh, sir, okay. to your going 36,000 miles in a submarine and staying underwater for, uh, it was 84 days? I won the war 84 days. And that's, of course, the voice of uh, the great Jose Menace, one of the great comedy characters of all time. And joining us is the creator of that character, one of the legendary comedians in the business, Bill Dana, joins us once again by telephone. How are you, Bill? I'm great. I'm great. How's everything going down there? We're doing pretty well, yeah. It's, it's good to talk to you again. We, we like to, to have you on as often as we can. It's been about a year ago now since uh, you did that wonderful show at Van Weasel. I, I wish you could have brought it back this year. It would have been fun. Yeah, that was was group everybody uh, has gone off in their own directions shelly berman as you know is now a regular on uh, curb your enthusiasm and uh we never when we, are you talking about the mort Saul, Sh shelly berman uh, right. erwin corey and uh, uh, dick Gregory and that group yeah that uh, was a great show yeah yeah it was was fun and and uh it's uh when you start some, something like that with with people in that particular quadrant, uh, you can't really anticipate too much longevity. But we uh, we had a great a great time, and everybody uh, uh, recently for my latest project, which is uh, the American Comedy Archives at Emerson College in Boston, uh, we interviewed Dick Gregory uh, in Washington D.C. Uh, uh, he was marvelous. I think we got about three hours. Uh, this is this particular archive. Are you acquainted with Emerson College in Boston? Sure. Yeah. The last time we talked, Bill, uh, you mentioned that you had gone there. It's a great performing arts school. And Dennis yeah, Leary, uh, really also is. another name. And uh, the uh, the board of uh, uh, directors, the trustees, are like the Valhalla of of show business there, Tom Preston of Viacom and Terry Semmel of Yahoo and uh, uh, Doug Herzog, Comedy Channel, on and on and on. So it's it's really a great opportunity for the students to that, that do achieve to get the attention of uh, people that can do them so good. Well, that's a great idea. I know David Steinberg's doing a show on Comedy uh, Ch uh, Central, I believe, called yeah. no, on Nick at Night, I've I believe. Trying, yeah, it's funny I, you mentioned that. I'm trying to chase him down. I want to interview uh, interview the interviewer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's he, he's a acquaintance of mine over many years, and I really admire his work. Well, I think it's great that that you can get like yourself, the great comedians on tape. I think Alan King did a series about 15 years ago like that, sit-down comedy, I believe it was called, just to just to yeah. get these guys uh, well, this, interviewed this on this tape. This is a, a little bit different focus. Basically, it, it is uh, as though people of, uh, of my group, my period in comedy, could have put on a tape... Uh, and listen to uh, uh, Stan Laurel and Oliver Hardy and uh, Chaplin and Keaton talking about the craft of comedy. Mm -hmm. So what's going on at Emerson is not going on anyplace else. And that is, it's a, it's a resource for students, faculty, people who are interested in a in a career in in humor, and it it has not really been given that kind of dignity. Uh, by any major educational institution until Emerson, uh, uh, my alma mater, uh, they uh, very enthusiastically supported my, my feeling. 
I know your old colleague uh, Steve Allen was very uh, into doing this. He wrote a, a couple of great books called The Funny Men. I believe you were in one yeah, of those books uh, to, yeah. to get that uh, out there. Steve, it, it, it gets to be, uh, it, it is sort of a wistful but funny. Uh, a while back, uh, I got a call from Howard Storm. Howard is a very successful comedy director, many series, Mork and Mindy, uh, on and on. And uh, we're part of a group called Yarmy's Army. I think you know about mm-hmm. about that group. We're this sort of a male bonded group that got together uh, because uh, a lot of us were uh, deciding to leave the planet. And uh, the army that it was named after was Dick Army, was Don Adams' brother, uh, who had terminal cancer, and it. It worked. I mean, we uh, it was sort of a good, sort of good grief type of thing. Mm. And as a matter of fact, I'm putting together a proposal now that 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 the, the sh- uh, how to run a good grief party. Mm. Death. This is such a death denying uh, culture that we're in. It's it's like oh my gosh, uh, somebody's 95 years old and they actually died. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, I know uh, that group's been on, uh, I believe, the, the telethon a few years, Jerry Lewis telethon, and you do like the four oh, guys yeah, get we, together, we, and, and it's funny. All over, yeah, all over with it. But uh, Howard called me and he said, "Bill, I got some bad news." And I thought he was referring to Don Adams. This is some time ago because I, I had just talked to Don in the in the hospital. But he said, "No, uh, Howie Morris took a cab, which is." Uh, Lindy, uh, New York ease for dying. So we were commiserating, and about two sentences later, he heaves a big sigh. He says, "Bill, we're all circling the drain." Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice analogy. Oh boy! So we became the comedians' circle instantly. But it, it is uh, somehow or other. It seems to be when the uh, the doctor slaps you on the tushy when you're born. That's a, mo- a mortal wound. No, nobody's <laughs> getting out of here alive. Might as well have some laughs along the way, though, right, Bill? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. You, you mentioned uh, Don Adams, and, and since we talked to you, both Don yeah, and, Don, and uh, passed away. We've, have, we've had uh, that the sadnesses of le- losing Don. I was out in Los Angeles to given the honor of uh, being one of the speakers at his memorial service, and um, and then uh, closely following that, uh, we lost Louis Nye. I just was calling Anita Nye the other day. He, his uh, his son Peter. Uh, the, those that period obviously is. Is difficult when your family inside the family, but when you ha- when the person who is uh, about to leave us has such a wide constituency of fanship and friends, it it really makes it quite a burden. Oh yeah, of course. Uh, Louis and I uh, was really working up to the end. Uh, he was also on Curb Your Enthusiasm as uh, as one of the parents. I forget. Yeah, uh, one of the characters. Right. Yeah, and, he, yeah he, and of course you work with him on brilliant, brilliant guy and he he lied of all those years I knew he was a year or two older than he said he was but he happened to be 10 years old right I was surprised 92 yeah yeah, yeah. That, it, it was amazing shape it was inspiration to us all